What's up everybody? Welcome back to another John Deere 1025R TLB backyard homeowner video. Gonna pull some more stumps out today. I've been clearing this area here just to extend our lawn as some of you probably know from seeing my videos already. I've done some stump videos and you know you've probably seen some of this but I just love filming when I'm doing this type of work. Anyway let's get right into it. Hope you like that FPV flight in the beginning there. I haven't flown that a little bit. It was fun to use it again. First task of the day is gonna be this stump right here. Uh, I'd call this one pretty big for this tractor, but I've got the time today. I'm thinking this is gonna take me, you know, at least an hour to get out of here. So, uh, oh, a little bigger than my hand. Quite bigger than my hand, actually. Let's get digging. Wow, it's beautiful out. So here we are about 40 minutes into the dig. Let's check it out. As you can see, I've got a pretty good sized dig going around this. I've realized that after digging out a few of these big stumps, you've got to really dig down deep. I think this again, obviously, because there's not a whole lot of big root structure going off to the sides. This is one of those trees that's gonna have a lot of roots underneath it. So we're all dug out over here. We're all dug out over here. That is just soil that has fallen into the hole from my pile over there. So I'm gonna dig out right here and we're gonna give this a tug. I got this chain today at Home Depot. I'm getting tired of doing this by hand. That's why we got tractors, right? Wiggled it around. I shook the, the dirt off of it. I tried to get the teeth in from the backside, wiggle it out. I did a little bit more handwork. What I'm gonna try to do is get this chain under like, you know, the bottom half of that stump, hook it up to the bucket, and I'm gonna try to roll it out of the hole here. Quick break right here before you run to the comment section and say, dude, you need to get some bucket hooks for your John Deere bucket. I've got them. Uh, I ordered them like a week ago, no, two weeks ago or so. I just haven't had a chance to put them on yet. So super excited to get these. They will be on the tractor soon. First time didn't go so good. Just removed some more dirt, rigged up the chain a little bit. Again, I'm just gonna try to take the back part of the stump and roll it over the front. If you look at the stump over here, this stump from this perspective is very easily removable. But if you get to the other side, we've got a ton of mud and dirt over here. This is why it can't lift it. I'm gonna flip the stump back towards the machine and I'm gonna dig this out with a bucket more. It's just gonna scrape it off with the teeth.
super happy with that. Probably took me about two hours all said and done from the time I started digging that stump until I've got it uh, back bladed and ready to be hand raked. So I've got a few small stumps that I want to take out over here. I'm not going to film it because they should be pretty easy. And then I'll probably do uh, one more good size one over there and then call it a day. Well, that was a pretty easy one right there. I feel like that size stump is the perfect stump for the 1025R. Looks to be about eight inches or so. I feel when you get to that 10 inch and above, that's when it starts to struggle a little bit. I mean, this only took me like a half an hour and the hole is not super big as you could see. Very excited about that one. I think I'm gonna make this my last stump of the night and then try to rake some of that uh, area that I backbladed over there and smooth that out. Well, getting ready to call it a night here. I've been cleaning up for the past hour or so. I'm done digging stumps. I've just been raking out over uh, all the soil that I just dug up and pulling some roots out and just getting it ready to really level it out and then throw some topsoil on top of it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, what we did today. And there you have it. That's what it looks like. Sorry, this image quality is probably terrible. It's coming off the GoPro. Uh, probably a little bit noisy and grainy, but you can see what we did today. That big mother of a stump is gone there. And then this stump that you saw the time lapse on, this stump always got to me because it was like right on the edge of the yard and it just felt good to get that one out of there. So slowly but surely moving along here at Cranberry Owl Acres. That's the name of our property. What's going on everybody? It's a couple days later and here I am with this big stump that uh, I started digging out yesterday. I had to go out and photograph a house so I wasn't able to finish it but it's about uh, 545 on Tuesday night here in Connecticut and the stump is I think it's a little bit loose. I had some shake on it yesterday so I'm gonna try to finish it off right now. So I decided I would take a stab and try to dig out this rock tonight while I still got a little bit of daylight left. Pretty good sized rock. I was really happy I was just able to free it up right here, get a little wiggle to it. No way in hell is the tractor gonna lift that out of the hole. I think what I'm gonna do is like dig kind of an incline, dig a little bit of a slope and hook it up with some chains and try to pull it out. I think that's gonna be the game plan. I don't know how far I'm gonna get tonight though.
So here we go. It's 8, 11 p.m. and right now there is no stopping me. I don't know if anybody else out there is like this. I'm willing to bet there are, but when you get into something and you get into a project and you're shucking and jiving and moving, there is no stopping me. You can barely talk to me. I was unbelievably determined to at least get this rock out of this hole tonight. I was gonna do whatever it took. This thing was huge. I think this rock has to weigh between two, maybe even 3,000 pounds. It was a monster. I was totally blown away by what the 1025R did with this rock. Granted, it took me a long time and it took me a lot of shuffling the rock from side to side. The rock was not coming out by me pulling it. Like I tried to build a little bit of an incline, like a little bit of a road to pull the rock out, but there's no way the tractor was pulling it. So I had to just pick from each side, dig a little bit in front of it and get it out and get it out and get it out. Finally, I was able to get it up, get it onto some level ground. And then the next day I went out and I was able to take the bucket of the tractor and just kind of work the lower half of the rock and just move it into the woods. Again, I was totally blown away that the 1025R could actually get this rock out of the hole and then was able to push it into the woods. Now, where the rock is sitting, I don't want it to be there forever. I want to eventually move it again, but for right now, it's fine. It's out of the way. Totally blown away by the fact that this machine was able to move this rock. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I can't recommend the 1025R enough. What an awesome machine.